out there, this is Rachel Butts with rachelbutts.com and today I am going to talk about some of the tools I use when making my thesis WordPress sites because you can't go out into the world without tools <laughs> and as my dad says it separates us from the animals. So uh, I have three tools that I use mostly. Um, they are one, Firebug, which um, each tool that I'm going to show you today is going to sit down here in your tool menu. Uh, the next one is Colorzilla and the third is Measure It. Okay, so let's talk about Firebug for a minute. What does Firebug do? Well, if I click on my little bug right here, up pops my console and in it it has HTML, CSS, script, a bunch of other little things, but the main ones um, that I use it for is the CSS, especially with the thesis, because then I can see what's off. If I need to move some padding, um, maybe I can't find a certain element and I need to find it and I don't know where it is, so I can actually inspect different elements on my site. So I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to inspect my own site here. So I'm going to click on my little bug. I'm going to click inspect element and I'm going to look at this element right here. It tells me the style. It also tells me um, the, you know, the margin and padding and things like that. And actually if you want to test something before you go into your site and um, hard code it for real, you can actually put in a margin or a padding. You can type right in here and it'll sh tell you what it's going to look like. See it moved it over a little bit. So you can play around in here before actually going in and potentially messing up your site. <laughs> or you can also go inspect other people's sites and then see what they're using and pretty much copy their style if you like it. You know, I don't encourage complete copying, but you know what I mean. You know, you could change a color. Let's say I, I wanted to change it. I want to see what this looks like, white. You know, and it'll it'll change it for me. Okay? So that's Firebug. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, when you're looking at the thesis, it has the different div tags and things like that and you can go figure out what things are. I think it's so incredibly useful. The next one that I use is Colorzilla. What Colorzilla does is it has my little eyedropper sit down here. If I click on it and I click on a color area and then I right click on the eyedropper it'll tell me the exact color it is and I can just click that and copy it and then I could go into my thesis options and just literally go in and paste that color in there that I just copied with my eyedropper. Okay, for those of you especially who don't know color codes and things like that, it's very easy. It's awesome. Okay, next one I'm going to show you is Measure It. I think I talked about this a little bit in my previous tutorial about how to put in your custom header. Um, you can measure anything. Um, on your site, any site, anywhere, anything. Um, so let's say I want to know how big this video is because I want to go make a bunch of other videos this size. So I just click on my measure tool and I just take it and I drag it and that tells me that little guy is 174, 174 pixels wide by 173 pixels high. So this is especially useful, like when I used it previously in the header tutorial, you made your site the width that it is, but you forget about things like padding, and it's not aligning correctly. I just wish I knew what size to make this header, so you just go in there and drag, drop it, and then you know exactly what size it's going to be. So that's it for my three tools that I use for my um, WordPress development, for thesis especially with the firebug. It's useful for any type of WordPress or any type of site really, but it works so great with thesis. Okay, so that's it. Um, check out rachelbutts.com for custom WordPress thesis sites. Bye-bye.